All right, so we're gonna start on the motor on this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, time of year. Um, so we're gonna start on this car here and we got it on some ramps and uh, the lighting is terrible. I apologize, uh, but I'm gonna get started on this cause it'll be dark here in a little bit and the skeeters will get out and I don't like them things. They, uh, they like me, but I don't like them. So anyway, uh, let's get this thing on the road. What do you say? So what we got is we got the uh, air intake off, got the battery off, got the computer off, and we got two broken bolts. One's there, one's there. So, but anyway, that happens, that's normal. Um, I don't like it when that happens, but sometimes it does. Now we gotta get this exhaust off and the, there are bolts on the bottom. Here. And they don't wanna come loose. So we're gonna have to work with them Hopefully they'll break loose, but they are super tight, super. So we'll see what we can do with them. Number one, sort of hard to see. Number one, <clears throat> got some carbon build up. There's some carbon build up. That was number two, by the way. And here's number three. See how wet it is around that? say so number three is missing it has a active misfire and them valves look worse than the others uh, got a lot of carbon built up on them as well and uh, more likely that's where the head gas is blowed at is on number three I'm guessing and here's number four okay There we go. You can see it a little better. See that white? That's that's carbon build up, and that's that's where it's been hot. See, it's got super hot, and yeah, okay. So we still have a lot to do, but we're getting there slowly but surely. Uh, I might have to get Charles to put this thing back together. I can always take things apart. I just can't put them back together. Uh, yeah. See, so if, if Charles does something, then I can blame him. See, he's, he's my fall guy. Scapegoat, you know. Um, you got to have one of them because... Everybody's got to have a scapegoat, okay? So that's why I had Charles. And Charles, he, he can take it. Uh, if something's wrong, Charles did it. If something didn't work out right, Charles did it. Uh, so you got to have a Charles. Um, but hopefully I'm going to have a few more people come in and, and help me around this garage 
and when they come in here, you know, I'll I'll introduce them to you. Um, that way you'll know who they are uh, by, you know, uh, a name basis. So, um, that is going to be, uh, let's see. I might, I might do a little more. I'm, I'm not for sure. I gotta go, I gotta do some things here in a little bit. I just had got home. Uh, so, I'm taking the harness off right now. Um, a few other things. Um, it's just so dark in here, and I hate to, I hate to make a video in the dark. I just don't like doing it. So, uh, let me figure out what I'm going to do, and I'll get back to you. Or how about this? I am going to go under this thing and take a look at it. i got to evaluate everything. So, let's do that. All right. This... That is the AC compressor, and we're gonna to have to take that, move it out of the way. We don't want to break the system loose, so we'll just let that hang. Uh, do, 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 I want to show you it's a starter. That's, that's what I want to show you. Check this out. Get out of the way. Boom. Now tools are always getting in the way. Move. Coming through. Uh. All right. I want you to look at this. You see that? That's a starter. That is the starter. And... It would not be fun to change. But, I mean, you can do it. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so take the starter off and get to torque converter bolts. Gotta get the torque converter bolts out. Gotta be able to turn the motor over. So we can do that. Wait a minute, what's this here? Is that an access link? Huh. It might be. Well, I'm gonna have to get me a book on this one. I need a book anyway, because I gotta know the torque specs. <clears throat> what do you think about that right there? Got all kind of little quick connects on here. Make things quick. Yeah, goes into the radiator. This is a quick connect. This is this is something else. I tell you, interesting, interesting. All right. So. That's what the undercarriage looks like on this uh, this little car. So uh, I'm gonna take a few other things loose, like from wife get home with the girls uh, from doing their dance. So I'm gonna carry on with uh, taking this car apart, and uh, I will I'll keep you up to date with what's going on with the car. Don't worry about that. So uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll catch you later. Okay. Y'all stay tuned, because uh, we're going to have this motor in the air eventually like a loose tooth. I kiss you right here. That's what it's going to be like. All right. Y'all have a good day. Mm. So.
it is tight under there. I'm telling you right now. Uh, oh, uh, hillbilly. He, he starts on stuff and then he calls me and he's like, hey, can you come over here and help me out? I gotta go do something. So here I am. Uh, just wanted you to know that got the bell housing bolts out of the bottom. The reason I do that is because when I start pulling the coolant out, uh, it just makes such a mess. And uh, I just like to take the bolts out of the bottom first and then pull the coolant and the fluids. That's what I do. Yeah. Might time to wash that thing. Getting a little stinky. I usually uh, wash my hair on Saturdays, but it's just Tuesday. So, anyway, um, I just want to say hey, you know, let you know I'm working on this car. Uh, Y'all just stay tuned and, and uh, we'll have this thing on the road before you know it. I'm sure the big boss will be very excited to get it back. Yeah. And and I'm sure that he'll he'll probably start driving back to work. I guarantee it. Alright, y'all take care. <laughs>